Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Hey there, TikTokers. Welcome to a new Scary Tuesday. Today, we have a very special creepypasta, as it's not based on any killer or any evil creature, but on one of the most popular video games of all times. This is the deadliest version of Super Mario 64. I remember when I was young, I used to love my Nintendo 64. I used to spend hours and hours playing in my room. Time just flew. I have a couple of favorite games I had completed several times, but without a doubt my favorite one was Super Mario 64. I knew it by heart, from beginning to end. That's why I got really mad when I lost it. My family and I moved into a new house and the game disappeared during the move. With time, I stopped playing Nintendo 64 and forgot all about that. But one night, late at night, while I was on the internet, a strange pop-up appeared, selling old copies of the Super Mario 64, brand new. Nostalgia got me and I decided to buy one. When I got it, some days later, I could tell it was a cheap copy. The box didn't have any cover and the game card only had the name of the game handwritten with a marker. I felt fooled and I tried to complain, but the webpage where I had bought it wasn't there anymore. And the contact email simply sent the emails right back, as if it didn't exist. Upset but curious at the same time, I decided to dust my old Nintendo 64 and give it a try. After the title screen, Mario's face appeared. You could actually reshape his face and I wanted to have some fun stretching his ears. But suddenly, a static interference showed up in the screen. And the weirdest thing, strange sounds started coming out of it and what seemed to be a whisper of a nearly inaudible voice. I took the game card out and I blew into the slot, an old trick I had had since I was a kid. When I started it again, I passed Mario's face screen and started a new game. It was weird that there was no introduction with Princess Peach's video inviting Mario to her castle. Instead, I was there directly, but something was different. The place was darker and gloomier, Toad wasn't around and you couldn't hear any voice. The only door there went to the room at the level of the bob -Bombs battlefield. When I went in, I saw that instead of the bob -Bomb picture, there was a white canvas. I thought it was all glitches, short-lived faults in the game since it was a cheap copy, so I went inside the frame. The screen went black and instead of the name of the mission, a message appeared saying, Turn back. I was in the bob -Bomb battlefield, but I wasn't alone. Luigi was with me. That really surprised me, I didn't recall him there in the original game. When I went towards him, he ran away, and I went after him. Suddenly, everything started turning gloomier and gloomier. With each coin I got, the scenery went darker and darker, and the music and the enemies became slower and slower, until suddenly, they just froze and laid dead on the floor. I couldn't see Luigi anymore, so I went to the top of the mountain, but I didn't see the King bob -Omb waiting for me, only a small cottage. I opened the door and was shocked when I saw Luigi hanging from the ceiling, while I heard a sad and annoying piano song. Mario fell on the floor on his knees and started to cry. <laughs> the screen went out and I went back to the castle, but that had changed as well. Lots of toads were around me, with black eyes and a macabre expression on their faces. And the most terrifying thing of all, the frame had a picture of my own family now. I got so scared that I wanted to turn it all off, but I couldn't. Even unplugging the whole thing, the screen was still on. It was forcing me to keep playing. So I jumped into the picture and I started the only mission that came up, called Run, Don't Walk. I was in a place with a lot of platforms over poisonous water. A strange shape, an undefined black bulge, appeared and started to crawl after me. I jumped from one platform to the next, I really couldn't escape, until finally it got me and slowly consumed me. I lost one of my lives and I was kicked out of the frame, but now the picture of my family had changed. Their bodies started to show signs of decomposition as if they were recent corpses. The effect was too real to be done by Photoshop, it did look like a real picture. Desperate, I wanted to stop seeing that grotesque image, so I jumped inside the frame again. This time, the mission was called I'm Right Here. I was in a dark room, with no exit or refuge. There was a piano at the back, and when I got close to it, it turned into a horrendous creature and started to chase me. 
I couldn't hurt it, so I had to let myself die. But instead of the typical death sequence, Mario fell on the floor, started to bleed and his guts scattered all over. It was grotesque, but it became completely terrifying when little by little it turned into a real image. A truthful reconstruction of a dying Mario. Paralyzed, I couldn't do anything but observe, until Mario was kicked out of the picture again. Now, the castle was on fire. There was a painting on the wall written with blood that said, you'll never save them. And the frame had a totally terrifying picture of my family. Their bodies were more and more putrefied. They had holes with bugs coming out of them and eating up their flesh. Their guts were hanging out and their eyeballs were coming out of their sockets. I was terrified. I grabbed my phone and I tried to contact them with no success. My dad, my mom and my sister, none of them answered. I looked at the screen again and this time I could only see a sentence. Game over. On a black background. Fearing the worst, I left home to go and find them, hoping nothing had happened to them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!